Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your Saw Machine Man. What we're looking at is a lot of motors, different kinds of motors. And uh, the reason this is up for discussion is because we were talking about replacing motor brushes and oiling motors and things like that. So we got to this discussion, different kind of motors and how easy it is to replace motor brushes. These motor brushes and a lot of these machines uh, nowadays are not replaceable, but the ones from back in the day, like I have some displayed in front of me, these are easily replaceable with the exception of this one. We'll get to that one next. But ones like this, you look and you see, does it have the little cap that unscrews? If that little cap unscrews, underneath there is a motor brush. It looks like this. And when they get used up, they'll burn down. Oh, my goodness. It's like a pencil, pencil lead. It's just carbon, like a pencil lead, all the way down to there sometimes. And uh, a lot of times they'll be sparking on just the spring. The spring will be conducting the electricity. And they'll be arcing and sparking. You'll be flipping the hem wheel and the Kenmore and try to get it going. It's just a matter of yanking those out. Put the new ones in. It's very um, uh, very easy. Just got to make sure you will take this plastic piece out. Don't break it. Thread it properly and put it back in. Don't cross thread it. It's a pretty simple little deal. No big deal. You can get these motor brushes uh, online. Uh, the hardware stores. Make sure you get the right size. And they go right in. This one easily replaceable. Here's one that's not. When I say easily replaceable, it is replaceable. There's people out there that let me know, oh, I do these all the time. Well, good for you. I don't. Because these little guys are not expensive. And uh, getting them apart is one thing. You know, taking them apart, getting the motor brushes out, getting them back together and getting them lined up properly so they're not into, not in a bind. That's, that's, that's the challenge for these little guys. They're probably, I would not rebuild one of these because they're so cheap and disposable that it's easier just to get another one. And I, uh, don't replace these. They don't burn out too often, but if they do, I just throw another one in there and away we go. Replaceable with the little uh, screw. Not replaceable. You can do it, but I wouldn't advise it. Here's an old Singer from like a 401, 500A in the Touch and Sew series. They had motors like this. And of course, you look in here and there's that great big old fat motor brush. There's my compressor kicking on just in time. Great big old fat motor brush. And all you do is pull this out. The, uh, brush comes out and some of these motor brushes they get pretty big some of them are like huge there's a couple gigantic ones there depending on what motor you're rebuilding sometimes you have very big motor brushes like this guy here very good size and some of them are just much smaller now you can get these uh, motor brushes like I said online or at the hardware store they're not hard to find if you see your motor has like a screw and a cap comes off and you see your motor brush easily replaceable one like this there's your screw easily replaceable here's an old school one from way back in the day from an old singer 66 class and there's a screw that goes there you pop it off lo and behold what's in behind it a replaceable motor brush very simply done now if your uh, skill level is not that high you understand how things work don't be taking this apart and fooling with it. But if you're like most of the guys I've been chatting with lately that do this stuff every day, good for you. They know all this stuff. But it's, it's, it's something that you can do. And uh, if you have a machine that you've used a lot, because you have to use a lot to use up motor brushes. They don't go too easily. I have customers who have used up a couple, three sets of motor brushes because they do that much sewing. They have an Etsy online account and they sew all day, every day. And they'll go through motor brushes, but... Motor brushes are cheaper than motors, so I would encourage people to replace your motor brushes, rebuild your motors. If you can't do it, find somebody who can, but there's some motors that can be done. Look for the little screw, screw cap. The ones that can't are the ones that are sealed. No motor brush. So, appreciate it.